The best solar panel angle is calculated on one major factor, your position on the globe relative to the sun. The optimal angle changes based on your latitude. That's the one that denotes north and south position. It boils down to the solar panel facing the sun as directly as possible, and the surface of the solar panel picking up as much of the light or radiation as it can. On the globe, as you move closer to the equator, the sun will be higher in the sky, and it's oriented to the surface at the maximum angle, 90 degrees. Therefore, on the equator, the optimal angle to position the surface of the solar panel to pick up as much radiation as possible would be zero degrees. In the UK, however, we're latitudinally 55 degrees north of the equator. Therefore, the light coming from the sun hits the ground at an angle. The light is more spread out over the ground. Therefore, if a panel here was angled at zero degrees, it would not receive the maximum radiation. On average, about 16% less. The optimal angle for a solar panel to receive the maximum radiation in the UK is about 30 to 40 degrees. If the solar panel angle is suboptimal, say 60 degrees, the output decreases by about 5% on a perfectly south-facing orientation. The same goes when you make the angle more acute to say 20 degrees. The output decreases by 5% when facing perfectly south. Now, when you install a panel at zero degrees pitch, say on a flat roof, the output drops by 16%. This, of course, is not dependent on the cardinal orientation whatsoever, as whatever way you face it, it's still flat. In the rare occasion, someone wants to install solar on a vertical 90 degree face, like on the side of the house on a wall, they would see a drop in the order of about 29% versus optimal output. Here's a table showing the optimal angle and orientation for solar panels we prepared. This is models using SunPower Maxion panels. As you can see, solar panel angle can make a big impact, just like how orientation off the south also makes a big impact. In summary, panels pitched at 30 to 40 degrees off south will generate their maximum 100%. A system on a flat roof with no pitch will generate roughly 84% of the equivalent 30 degree pitched south facing system. And panels pitched 90 degrees vertical on a south facing wall should generate 29% less. Interestingly, in the UK, it's actually more effective to install panels flat than it is to install them 30 degrees pitched facing east or west. Although on a flat roof, panels tend to be mounted at about 10 degrees. This is for a couple additional reasons that any good installer will consider before installing the panels. It's to account for the balance of maximizing the space on the roof by installing panels close together and minimizing the shading cast from one panel to another. The greater the pitch they're installed, the larger the shadow cast onto the panels behind. Additionally, it also helps with mitigating wind uplift and the ballast requirement. These factors are considered against the loss in panel output by reducing the angle away from optimal. Financially, it would make more sense to take everything into account. You might be thinking, like plenty of our clients do, wouldn't it be optimal to move the panel orientation throughout the year? Or for a ground mounted or flat roof system, even throughout the day to follow the sun and get the optimal angle and orientation constantly. In short, the answer for the time being is no. It doesn't really make sense. To do this, you'd be utilizing a technology called solar trackers. And we actually have quite a bit of history with solar trackers. The founder of Spirit Energy actually spent their time at Oxford University studying the potential of solar trackers, which ultimately inspired her to start the company. The technology unfortunately doesn't really make commercial sense, as as cool as it would be to essentially have a huge robotic sunflower, like James Cameron in your backyard, they're so expensive that they ruin the financial return and performance of any solar system far more than the increase in generation accounts for. An interesting side note relating to solar panel angle is that sometimes you'll see manually movable mounting systems on boats. One example that comes to mind is the other day I was walking down the river and I saw a barge boat uh, with a pivoting seesaw style mounting system so that whether they were going up or down the river, it was the Thames, so of course it runs east to west, they can orient it southwards. Thank you for watching. I urge you to check out our article on solar panel angle and orientation on our website. If you want to know how the angle of your roof will tie into your solar output, use our solar calculator. It's completely free and you don't even need to put in your email. Or get in touch. Our team would love to help.